What we're talking about at this stage, second reading, is should this bill go ahead? And we think this is the only approach that works to ensure that there is certainty and continuity as we exit the European Union. Therefore, we absolutely believe it should go ahead. And I think the extraordinary position here is that of the Labour Party, who having said they would respect the outcome of the referendum, having put a great emphasis on having certainty through this process for business and for jobs, are now planning to vote against this legislation, uh, seemingly for political reasons. I don't think that's a sensible way forward. Uh, and I think what we need to ensure is that actually the whole country comes together to work on this process and make it a success. What we are doing is we are making sure that we bring forward the ne legislation necessary to exit the European Union, but not just to exit the European Union, to also establish the basis for a strong deal between the UK and the EU. Yeah, those people voting against this legislation. Those people voting against this legislation are undermining that process and that doesn't put us in a better position with regards to coming through this. What we need to ensure now is that we actually get on with the job of making the UK economy a success. We've got high employment at the moment, we've got good growth in the economy. We need bill. to deliver um, on, on, on that and on the exit from the European Union. What this bill does is something which cross-party committees have recognised as necessary. We've heard a number of Labour MPs stand up and say it is necessary and it is important to put this bill on the statute book. That what we should not therefore see is party political games played around a bill that is actually crucial to achieve in the national interest.